My name is Matt Crowley. I'm a product manager here at Atlas Copco. In today's product essential video, we're gonna look at adding a tool in the ILS 2.0 software. With that said, let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing we wanna to do to add a tool is on the left-hand side, click Tools. And then up here, you can see we have a plus to add a plus sign for a new tool. We will give the tool an ID. You will choose the controller type. In this case, I am using an ITB tool, which means the controller is on board. So I will just remain with PowerFocus 6000. However, you can see there are other options to choose from. Then you want to program in the value or the IP address of the tool, and then click Next. In the second menu, you can see we have two options. We can either choose rotation or linear sensors. This will be a future addition where we will be using ILG with the arms and encoders in this software. So for now, we want to choose ISRA Vision Spot Point 2.0, meaning we are using an ILS 2.0 receiver. Then click Next. This menu should always be left the same. We do not change this away from 127001. So leave this one as is, and then simply click Next again. So once we come to the fourth page, we can see we're going to now start programming the tool targets. A target ID will be automatically assigned to this target. And then we have to enter in the tag ID for the first tag that we will be programming. You can find the tag ID directly printed on the tag at the bottom. So for our case, it would say ID 08. Then we have to program in the XYZ coordinates, which is the position of the tag on the tool itself. We are actually provided these coordinates directly from product company. So all we have to do is enter in the values as we are provided. So for our first tag, our value for Z is simply negative 24. So we enter negative 24 and leave the rest blank. And then we can save this. So now if we click ILS sensor and click tool targets, you can see our new target that we created is down here, ITB2. And you can also see the first tag we created is also here with the coordinates that we programmed. Now we wanna add in the coordinates for the other three tags as we are using a quad tag mount. So click the target and click add tag. And then we will program in the value for the second tag. So this will be ID number nine. And the values for the second tag are negative 24 for Z. So we will type negative 24 and negative 90 for our RY. We'll save that. Then we will add our third tag, which is ID number 10. And our value for the third tag is negative 24 for Z. And in our case, 180 here for RY. And then we will add the fourth tag, which is ID number 11. And our values for this are negative 24 for Z and a positive 90 for our Y. And we will save this. So now we have programmed in all of the values for the X, Y, and Zs for the positions of the tags on the tool. And now we'll take a look at how we account for sockets that are added to the tool. So next we click Tools. Then we will select Geometry. In Geometry, if we want to add a new socket, we will select the plus sign. We leave this at fixed segment. And then in the Z, we will program in a negative Z value for the length of our socket. And we are measuring from the center of the end of the tool to the end of the socket. So in our case, this value from here to the end of the socket is 50 millimeters. So we will program in negative 50 millimeters. We'll also go ahead and assign a color just so we don't confuse any of our sockets. This just helps us keep things coordinated and also separated so we know which socket is which color. So I will choose yellow and then I will simply save this. And you can see my new socket geometry is added here. Lastly, we want to look at adding one more tag type and that is the dynamic target. In ILS sensor, we go to part target. We're going to choose add target. Again, it will automatically be signed an ID. And then we're going to name this. 
and save it. And then we have to add a dynamic tag. And we will give the dynamic tag an ID. Again, the ID is printed directly on the tag itself. And then we will save that. And we have now added a dynamic tag as well into the receiver. That concludes today's video on adding a tool in the ILS 2.0 software. If you have any questions, reach out to your local Atlas Copco rep and thank you for watching.